This video explains how to make things move in Live 2D. Follow this practice to achieve the following. We will move the black square into the red box, like that. So let's begin with importing the texture material. Under this, uh, below this video, there's a link to a zip file, and inside zip file, you should find this ball box PNG. Drag and drop into Live 2D. It should prompt you a image settings dialog, and in this dialog, you can choose either to import as a texture or a guide image. In our case, this is going to be a texture. And then it prompts you the edit texture box. Directly or immediately, you can import your um, layers into the canvas immediately. And we can try to make a put some dots around this square and make another square shape out of it. Now you see this light blue line here. When it appears, it means that there are some polygons in the current texture edit that is not in the shape of a triangle. Now we made a square shape here and Live 2D such um, three-dimensional drawing tool do not like squares, polygons. So you want to have triangle, triangles. Although you can still work with it even you're doing a square or any other or pentagon or whatever. But it's just that um, it's a bad practice in general. If you don't have triangles all set up, then when you distort the shape of your texture, it, you may resell a lot of bad distortions. So let's go with, let's simply make some triangles out of this, getting used to this control. When you're ready, press OK. And you should see your black, your black square on the canvas. Now we're missing the red box. So click anywhere that is not on the box. You see the red lines disappear, which means that you're currently not selecting this black box. And then we can add a texture, or yeah, we can add a texture. It will prompt us which texture map that we're using right now. And currently we've only imported one, so we'll go with this one. Click on it again, and it should go back to that edit texture dialog that we were opened earlier. Now let's draw a box around it and press OK and it should be there. In case you don't see anything imported here, you might want to zoom out and make sure it's not in some weird area out here. If you have a canvas that is too big or too small to work with, you can simply click File and um, document settings and here you can import your in input your width and height of the canvas so now we have two things if you click on them and click and drag them around you can move them however these parameters don't do anything to the movement in order to make this move we need to set up or activate a parameter for this uh, for the texture that we need to move we're not moving this one, we're not moving the red one, we're just removing the black box. So we want to click on the texture and then click angle Z or angle X. Actually, any of those would work. Or you can make a new one. Let's make a new one. Click set perimeter and click new value. Let's call this move box. So this perimeter is going to call move box perimeter. And this ID is something that your application might have to work with. Like later on, if you have some coding involved, you need some unique ID to recognize this parameter. So let's call them move box. And description, you can skip that. You have default value of zero, minimum of zero, and maximum value of one, which is just right. Press OK, and you'll see it down below. If you want to move it up, just, just keep clicking up while you're highlighting the perimeter until you hit the top and press OK. Now on the top, you'll see your brand new perimeter set up right here. Still though, nothing is moving. So let's try to activate this per perimeter for this black square. Make sure you're selecting the black square and then click Move Box. It will prompt you to add a perimeter dialog. Now let's click on one point on zero and one point on 
or you can click add three points to add one two three or you can add two points the start and the end and currently we just need two points so we click two points and press OK now you'll see green dots highlighted or light lit up right here it means that when this texture is selecting has activated the blue box perimeter if you click on the red box you don't see anything you don't see the green dots anymore so let's click on a black square again and you see those green lit up so now you have them activated still nothing is moving how do we do that the concept is that you currently have two key points point a and point b what live 2d understands how you want things to move is that you need to tell live 2d where do you want point a the black square to be and where point b the black square to be so let's go to point a we can keep this as a starting point that's fine so let's go to the end point we want by the end of this perimeter that this black box need to be in this red box so you can move freely until you hit the right spot that you like release the click now try to hold on the slider slide it around there you go you see it moves from point A to point B if you say point B is here instead then you'll see your black square moving that way towards the direction what if I want it to go up right down and in how do we do that we click on blue, the, the perimeter again and let's set a couple of points doesn't matter where they are it only matters is that from this point to this point how many points that like how many midpoints are there distance of this that might matter the speed of traveling a little bit so we have five points right now let's go to this green point they're currently set up as that um, midpoint in proportion to the first and end that was that we're already in so currently they are they already and some some destination set already but instead we will do it our way so if you find if you have to go to this point and you find that left click and sliding and very hard to hit the point you can do right click instead as your as you hover your mouse over the certain point it will light up yellow when it's yellow it means that it's suggesting whether you want to magnet to this point so let's try that again we want to hover this to the first point when it lights yellow right click and right click it hits this point already so now I want this box to go up first and when it go here it should be here the third point third point oops I should be moving the whole box instead of a single single dot right there, there and the fourth point is right in there so let's slide through up right down and right reverse and do like that so this is how you make things move in live 2d one method all right in the next chapter we'll talk about deformers and the rotational deformers